As California continues to reopen, USC plans to return to normal capacity in operations in the fall. USC wants student health to be one of its top priorities this coming school year. USC's president, Carol Folt, says the school is planning for productive measures, such as campus vaccinations, testing programs, physical distancing measures, as well as classroom and outdoor facility configuration. It is our intent to require vaccinations. Um, we can't require them until they've passed the emergency rules and we have to make sure that people have access to them. We're doing all that, but it is our intent to make them required. And of course, we will have exceptions and we'll make good um, uh, explanations for that for people that have medical or religious uh, reasons that would make it not possible for them to do it. But students may decline the vaccination without specific reasons and will be allowed to return to campus and engage in regular campus activities and events. Those students must fill out a vaccine declination form and undergo surveillance testing. Testing will occur twice a week for undergraduate students and once a week for graduate students. USC has been using the Trojan Check system, which offers several services for the university in the wake of the pandemic. However, in order to live in university housing, unvaccinated students must go through a formal exemption process designed for students who cannot receive the vaccination for reasons such as medical or religious purposes, which will be determined on a case-by-case -case basis. These students will be required to live in single rooms. For incoming USC graduate student David Keeling, he will not be getting the vaccination for personal reasons. The reason why I'm not vaccinated because of religious religion reasons, but um, the second reason is I was I actually was infected with the virus this past October, and I dealt with all the symptoms during that time by myself, and just knowing that I'm going you know attending USC this fall particularly. And I don't have any family out there. I just know that it'd be a very difficult time. All health and safety guidelines for housing will follow those set by the Los Angeles County Department of Public Health. The university is currently maintaining a work and academic environment that adheres to the six feet physical distancing, low workplace density, and masking requirements. On campus, events and activities and in-person work will continue to be limited. The university will continue to offer vaccinations each week into the fall semester as the return of students is likely to increase. From Annenberg Media, I'm Tony Hall.